Guys, so Jels here again for another tutorial in Python. So, eto, um, I just want to include this um, tutorial such series because this is very, very important for me because ako kasi nun guys, nag, nag ako mag-Python pero na, naintindihan ko to medyo doon sa last part na. So, basically, this is just, uh, simple lang naman to. Gusto lang to, this is more on concept kasi for me, kasi as a beginner, it's um, maganda na sa una pa lang, maintindihan mo na kung ano yung ibig sabihin nito. Because basically, kung magiging Python developer ka, in my opinion, because, you know, you'll be dealing with this. Kung baga, araw-araw mo tong gagawin, like, if ever, like, you want to pursue Python, yun. Yun, 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 yun yung nahalata, I mean, yung na-realize ko. Kasi ako noon, like, I've been, you know, doing python stuff tapos um sa medyo ah sa like sa medyo, medyo late ko na to na pansin so basically yun so just want to conclude this na sa una pa lang is um malaman niyo na ganun so basically yun guys so sa in python guys may gusto lang iyan sa isang example in python is we do something like for example in python meron tayong ano meron tayong limang numbers, di ba? We have five numbers. So, wag nyo munang pansinin yung programming part, like, paano ba yun gawin in Python? Wag nyo muna. So, more on, um, pag, yung concept lang na sinasabi ko. So, basically, um, in Python, for example, you want to solve a problem, gusto mong makuha yung average ng limang numbers. So, paano, paano mo ba yun gagawin? Paano mo ba yun gagawin? So, basically, anong gagawin mo? Siyempre, in Python, i-code mo. I-add mo yung limang number, i-divide mo kung ilan sila. So, that's basically it. Tapos, ganon. So, in Python, meron rin tayong mga tinatawag na mga libraries, packages, na pwede natin gamitin in order to solve things, to solve things for us. For example, yun yung sinabi kong problem na pagkuha ng average ng limang numbers. So, basically, as I've said, anong gagawin mo doon? Is, i-code mo, di ba? So, basically, in Python, hindi mo na kailangan gawin yun. All you have to do is use some some libraries and packages para makuha mo na yung, makuha mo na agad yung average ng limang numbers na yon. So, basically, parang gagamitin mo to, parang may kukuning kang code sa, may kukuning kang code, some part ng code sa package na to or sa package na to. So, gagamitin mo yung code na yon in order na kumbaga, para masolve na, masolve na para sa'yo yung problem na tinatry mong isolve. For example nga, yun is yung yung five numbers, parang ang ginagawa mo niyan is um, parang may, may kinukuha kang something code dito na code dito sa package then gagamitin mo yung code na yon then ibibigay mo lang yung limang numbers then ayun ibibigay na sa yung result yung which is yung average so basically that's it so that's the purpose na why we use um python libraries and python packages so basically that's it so yun yun yung gusto ko muna unang sabihin so the second thing is um kapag ganito yan so um, kapag narinig nyo ang word na framework, so basically, um, ganyan. So, pag may, may yung kaklase nyo or yung professor na nagsabi, ah, oh, ano yung, yung something framework, something like that. So, basically, guys, a framework, pag sinabing framework, it just basically means it contains libraries. Okay? Hindi lang isang library, maraming library. It could be one or more, pwede 100. Basta marami. At the same time, a library contains Python packages. So, basically, a Python library also. So, a Python library basically contains Python packages or packages, which is marami rin. Marami. Depende. Marami. It could be one or more, as I've said. Then also, a Python package may also, I mean, not, not may, talaga, it also contains um, Python modules. So, magtataka kayo, ano bang Python modules? Basically, nakikita nyo na, ang Python module is basically just a Python file. Python file, guys, .py, 
Ganon. So, di ba, a Python file is basically, dyan, dyan mo sinusulat yung code mo. Ganon. <laughs> so, basically, that's it. So, pag kapag uh, pina, pina, yun, yun, sinabing, um, ang tawag dyan yung word na module is parang pina, pina cool lang, lang, lang naman eh. So, basically, kapag, kapag may professor kayo or like, may kaklase kayo nagsabi, ah, meron ka na, asa ah, namin yung Python module mo? Ibig sabihin lang noon is basically, asa na ba yung Python file mo? Yun lang naman, uh, basically, a, 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 a Python module just basically means a Python file. So, ganun lang naman. So, yun. Uh, a framework contains um, Python libraries, then a, um, a Python library contains packages, then a Python package just contains Python modules. So, ganun lang naman. So, that's basically it. So, yun. So, um, gusto ko lang idagdag ang i-explain um, kung ano ang framework. So, basically, yung explanation ko kasi ng framework na ang Python framework contains library, di ba? Contains a library, then a library contains package, then a package contains module. Ang, ang framework kasi, guys, it's not enough na ganun lang yung explanation. May deeper meaning pa kasi na kung anong framework. As I've said, um, a Python framework is more than just an explanation na um, na ang um, framework containing library, then and so on. So basically, guys, sina di ba sinabi ko na ang framework, it contains a library, then it contains a package, then, then a library contains a package, then a package contains modules. So basically, in general, a uh, framework contains all of this. Di ba? Yun. So as I've said, it's not enough to explain kung ano talaga ang meaning ng isang framework. So, ganito. I'll try to explain this as best as I can. I can. <laughs> so, um, in Python, guys, meron tayong tinatawag na Django. Ano ba ang Django? So, ang Django or Django is a tinatawag na Python Web Framework. So, nakuha nyo na ang Django is a web framework or basically a framework in Python ginagamit yan for web development using Python. So, nakita nyo na posible na ang web development in Python. So, anong point doon? So, for me, for me, personally, ah, if, if ikaw nanonood nito like you're an expert in Python and you would disagree kung anong sinasabi ko. And please, um, I would like to um, hear kung ano man ang thoughts mo about it, kung ano ba ang, you, want, you want to share kung anong meaning ng framework. So, yun, please comment down below. So, for me personally, I would like, I would love to think a framework na parang environment, parang ganon. So, parang lugar, parang a place. Ganon. So, basically, di ba sinabi ko, ang Django, ang spelling ng Django, guys, is something like this. D-J-A-N-G-O. So, Django or Django. So, basically, Django, Django, di ba sinabi ko, Django, oh, wow, Django is a framework. Di ba? Django is a framework. So as I've said, a framework is parang like a place or like a like an parang environment. So ikaw, ikaw developer ka na no 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 nito. Let's say you want to develop um websites. So for you and gusto mong gamitin is Python. So for you, ikaw na developer, for you to develop a website using Python is kailangan mong gamitin, basically marami kasi guys, meron pang Flask, so ina-example ko lang is yung Django, so yun, so Flask is another framework in web development, so as I've said, ikaw, web developer ka, gusto mong mag-develop ng website using Python, so basically, mara um, gagamitin mo is a, itong Django or Django framework. Yan. So, gagamitin mo itong Django framework. Parang itong framework nito, gagamitin mo to in order for you as a developer to develop um, websites or, or do web development using Python. So, gagamitin mo tong framework na to. And at the same time, itong framework na to na Django... Bakit ko sinasabing Django? Sinasabi kasi ng mga iba Django or Django. So, etong Django 
na, na framework na to, since, since it's a framework, this framework consists a library, li not just a library, maraming library to be exact, and that library contains packages, and that package contains Python modules, or basically a Python file. So, that's basically it guys. So, yun lang yung um, gusto kong explain about in um, sa concept na to. So, ang medyo madumi na. So, yun guys, that's basically it. So, if medyo nalilito pa kayo, I hope para sa akin, okay naman yung explanation ko. I mean, for um, for me, it's a rule for me na if you are trying to study something, especially in programming for me, it's always a good thing na magtanong-tanong kayo sa iba. Like, hey, uh, hey, anong opinion mo about sa framework? Anong masasabi mo about sa pa Anong, para sa'yo, ano bang ibig sabihin ng Python package? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng Python library? Kung baga, ask Kung baga, marami kayong sources, the better. So, parang ganun. So, it's always a good thing na to mag ask. Kung baga, magtanong-tanong kayo about to, kasi, you know, mas, ang point ko dyan is, marami kayong matutut matututunan if you keep on asking other people. Kasi, wala naman na mali. At the, ang point ko dyan is, you can learn, um, marami kayong matututunan nga in other people. Ganun. So, parang ganun. So, eto, may... Ang tawag dyan, may mga binasa akong mga open forums about sa explanation nito kung ano, ano bang framework, ano bang library, ano bang package, ano bang module. So, may nabasa akong, ang tawag dyan, may mga binasa akong mga, ang, ang tawag dyan yung mga open forums sa internet. So, basically, here is the link. So, ilalagay ko to sa description uh, from the description below. So, from Cora, Stack Overflow. So, eto mga exp more on explanation to about uh, framework, library. Sa basically, eto sa inexplain ko. So, yun. As I've said. So, thank you so much guys for this tutorial. I hope na um, nalinabang kayo sa um, bagay na to. <laughs> so, yun. So, thank you so much guys. As I've said, um, it's always a good thing, you know, to to ask people kung ano ang thoughts nila about sa specific thing na to. So, yun. Kasi, the more na you keep asking people, the more information, syempre na, na ano mo, then, parang, i-analyze mo, alin ba dito ang mas the best explanation, then, dun ka sa pinaka the best based on your analysis. So, parang something like that. So, yun, yun, personally, kasi ako, yun yung ginagawa ko. If, may something na uh, hindi clear sa akin then tinatanong kong ibang tao uh, I mean, tao tinatanong ko yung mga ibang tao uh, hey, ano bang thoughts mo dito? so basically, and also ikaw, ano bang thoughts mo dito? so parang sinasummarize ko, gano'n ano bang ibig sabihin nila? so parang gano'n, so sinishare ko lang <laughs> share ko lang so thank you so much guys, again um, it's already 10.44 so, one game, one game <laughs> so thank you so much guys um, see you for uh, in the next tutorial.